My name is Nick Wright. I'm the warden of Barts and London School of Medicine and Dentistry, a position I'm very proud of. It's an excellent medical school here in the East End of London. If you come to our medical schools, we very much hope you will. We will promise you we will turn you out scientifically very able and clinically very aware, and also aware of your social responsibilities. We have a tradition of producing doctors of excellent quality, internationally recognised for this, and we very much hope you'll come to see us, choose us, and become a Barts and London graduate. Um, Barts and London is an incredible place to study because of the diversity of the local area. Also the fact that it is a campus-based university in London, which is very rare. It's a huge student village which accommodates about over a thousand students, which is obviously a lovely student community. You do manage to get very much involved in all the student events. There are nice new buildings, like the glass buildings that you may see in the prospectus, as well as some really traditional and old buildings, like for example our medical school library is a converted church. You get a very diverse, vibrant population, and that gives you benefits in terms of your education, as well as your social experiences. Living on campus is really good fun. You have all your friends in the same halls as you, You've got everything there. In my first year I lived at Mile End, on the campus there. New Hall's a residence there recently, so you all have en suite. It's a really nice building. There's a library on campus, and your laundrette and things like that, so it's really nice having everything on your doorstep. The ethnically diverse part of London gives a very interesting uh, clinical exposure here. You will see different departments in um, the hospital that you wouldn't see in other parts of London, things like um, TB department or malaria. There is student accommodation around the campuses, around St Bart's Hospital and the Royal London Hospital which are obviously incredibly convenient. Five minutes from a library, the Dental Institute, um, and any local amenities. You know, being part of Barts in London, it's great fun. There's loads of opportunity to take part in societies and clubs. There's a great social life. It's in the most vibrant part of London. There's loads of bars and places to eat, so there's something for everyone. Not only do I develop in what I learn, but I develop as a person as well. It's not just about hard work, but it's about getting that balance of working hard and playing hard. Student life here is really good. There's a great mix of people in my year um, from all over the country and all over the world as well. Um, there's loads of different clubs and societies, so whatever you feel like doing when you're not on your course, uh, there's lots to do. It's a great sporting community here as well. Uh, I play hockey quite a lot um, and lacrosse. All the campuses are actually not too far from one another, so they're quite easy to travel to. You get to mix with students who are on other courses. You've got various sort of cafes and eating places and they've recently done up the student village, which is a really nice place to live. We've got sports facilities there. Football, hockey, rugby, skiing, and there's a real camaraderie, I think, between the societies as well. You can really build up friends outside of your immediate course and your year and your group. You can mix between years and diff between different degrees. I've done loads of different things. I used to play netball. Um, I've also been part of the Asian Society who organise an annual fashion show and we've raised up to £15,000 for British Heart Foundation. This year the show's at O2, so you know the show takes places at quite prestige venues. So you don't just have to be a really sporty person to enjoy with societies, there's something for everyone. Personally I'm doing RAG, which is raising and giving. Throughout the year we raise money for charities in London, mainly in East London. We've managed to raise about £100,000 every year. It gives you a real, yeah, just a buzz I think. Um, it's really the best way to describe it. So anything you feel like doing, you can. <laughs> In dentistry, there's lots of different modules. There's a human health and disease module, which is uh, largely medicine, where we learn a lot about the uh, body systems. We have the oral cavity module, which is more specifically uh, tailored to dentists, because that's where we like to specialise on. It's got a lot of history behind it. Uh, we have our own dental hospital here on the first floor. There's your general patients, then you have a whole floor dedicated to children's dentistry. We have a new lab which is full of phantom heads which have all got their own computer screen as well so that the lecturer can put up what you've been learning and then you try it on the head in front of you with a full set of teeth. From the first year, we have uh, early clinical exposure where we're shown around the clinic and we're familiarised with the uh, clinical environment. From the second year, we 
begin seeing patients practicing simple tasks such as a basic examination as well as some scaling and polishing. As part of our course we do some work in the prosthetics lab, things like dentures and bridges, learning how to take impressions and then cast them up in plaster cast and stone and things like that until you're confident enough to have your own patient that you can make a denture for. As we get older and become more clinically competent, the patients we do take on are a lot more, the cases are a lot more complicated dentally. Crown and bridge work, changing people's smiles, it, gets, it all gets a lot more technical. I think in most respects a lot more enjoyable. In our third year we're sent to Barkentine, which is in the Isle of Dogs, which is a brand new primary care trust uh, facility. It provides a dental service amongst other things. It's fantastic, it's state of the art, it has digital x-rays on every bay, the team they're brilliant. You really do feel more like a, a dentist rather than a student. As soon as you go in there you meet the receptionist who gives you your patients for the day and the staff there treat you as a colleague, as a fellow professional. We have a form of continuous assessment, which basically means that we're assessed throughout the course rather than um, in a huge exam at the end. So we can gain about 50% of the marks with our continuous assessment throughout the year, which is very good because it eases the pressure on us for our final exams. And because dentistry is practical, it's more, I guess, multidisciplinary. So you can kind of come to the exam, the written exam, but already have gained a lot of your marks through the assessments which are carried out throughout the year. I think this is great because it's a good mix of both, a wholly competent dental student. It was a really good choice because it's actually one of the best dental schools in the country. So we've got the best training, it's the best people, best academic staff, the best curriculum. So we've been given the best footing for our future careers. It's just worked out really well. So the medical school curriculum is predominantly based around uh, problem-based learning but is also supported quite extensively uh, by a lecture-based curriculum. Problem-based learning is a situation where you have a tutor as well as about eight to ten students in a group. You're presented with the scenario, clinical case, and you discuss it, you find what the problems are, the issues, and you, you come up with objectives. The good thing about it is you end up going home, doing your work and coming back and feeding back again with the group and feedback from the tutor. To support that, we have an extensive lecture program uh, covering about eight lectures a week where students get other knowledge which feeds into the problem-based learning. There are lots of different ways of learning, so it can suit individuals or all different learning styles. You do various sort of simulated things using computers, models and images. And then you're also exposed to um, seeing patients from a very early stage and you go out into the society and they have sort of once a week going to a general practice surgery where you can see patients there. So it's integrated in a sense there's clinical exposure early on even though I'm a first year. I managed to go to a GP and a hospital yet yeah, have lectures, problem-based learning, tutorials, experiments as well as anatomy. The other aspects of the course include anatomy learning sessions where you look at dissected or prosected sections of a certain organ or a certain part of the body. You also do practical sessions where you look at other basic sciences such as physiology and pharmacology. And all this knowledge then gets integrated into the problem-based learning process. And the first two years are sort of mainly based in that format. And then after that you have your clinical years and you have a lot more clinical teaching which evolves around lectures but mainly around hospital and in primary care. So again at GP practices and various departments and hospitals. And you also get to use the um, clinical skills centre to develop the various skills that you'll need as a junior doctor. The clinical skills lab is... I, in my opinion, anyway, it's absolutely amazing. It's a small centre and it's got various sort of rooms which mimic the clinical environment, which is ideally in hospitals. And it has various sort of facilities and various equipment that let you do things that you will be doing in the hospital. As you progress through the course, you find that you can actually apply these skills and knowledge to actual patient scenarios. What is very good is the fact that you get supervised teaching by general practitioners who set aside time of their clinical practice time to teach medical students and the fulfillment when you actually meet a patient who somehow benefits from the knowledge or the skills you may have acquired comes out and really benefits you. Mm -hmm.